In this video, we're going to upgrade a Cisco Expressway cluster. I have a cluster here of two Expressway Cs on X8.8.3, as you can see in the center of the screen. And I want to upgrade them to the latest version, X12.5.9, right now. The first thing you want to do is check the release notes of the version you're upgrading to and find the Upgrading to that version section. This will list all the upgrade paths and any notes about upgrading from old versions. Some important things to pull out of it here include if you're upgrading from 8.5.3 or earlier, you should do a stepwise upgrade through 8.8.2. I'm already on 8.8.3, so this doesn't affect me. Starting in 8.8, .8, there's stricter certificate checking. In particular, you should check that your trust stores are all correct, you don't have duplicate certificates, and importantly, we added a reverse DNS requirement on the Expressway C. Meaning the Expressway C will have to resolve the FQDN of the Expressway E with an A record, and then with a pointer record back to that same address. This new DNS requirement will break the traversal zone if it's ignored. Again, I'm already on 8.8, .8, so I'm fine here. Of course, check the compatibility of your infrastructure with the MRA deployment guide. For basic MRA support, CUCM and IMMP 10.0 is required, which you would probably already have. There are certain features like OAuth with refresh that require a higher minimum version, as you can see here. The Expressway C and E should be upgraded together. This is important. We don't want one version running on a software version that's much newer or older than the other one. And finally, in X8.10, MRA authentication settings were moved from the Expressway E to the Expressway C. This one will affect me, I'm going to have to check my authentication settings on the Expressway E and then reconfigure them on the Expressway C after the upgrade. I'm not going to go through every single little requirement here because they're going to change over time. You can see there's also minimum endpoint versions needed for failover to work considerations for x8.7 and older, and a consideration for Cisco WebEx hybrid services, which don't affect my upgrade, but might affect yours. On the Cisco website and the Expressway series section, you can go to download software to get the upgrade. The upgrade file is going to be the .tar.gz file. It's the same file for both the C and the E. Now go to the Expressway web interface. If you have any alarms on your Expressway, you want to take care of them before upgrading and then take a backup of each cluster peer under Maintenance, Backup and Restore. Type an encryption password and create system backup file. Now go to Maintenance, Maintenance Mode and turn Maintenance Mode on. If there are any active calls or registrations, you can either wait for them to time out or disconnect them manually. Now remember the release notes said I'm going to have to reconfigure the authentication configuration. So if I check my Expressway E under Configuration, Unified Communications, Configuration, I don't have SSO set up on this cluster. So I'll just have to make sure that's the case on the Expressway C after the upgrade. Now we want to upgrade the primary Expressway first and then the subordinate peers one at a time in sequence. So I'm on the primary, I'm going to Maintenance, Upgrade, and starting in X12.5.5, I don't need a release key anymore, so I don't have to go to the licensing site, I can just leave this blank. I'm going to upload the software and then upgrade the primary. Here, just click Upgrade. And then afterwards, you have to reboot the Expressway. Once the primary is back up, I'm going to do the same thing and upgrade my secondary peer. If I had more peers after this, I would upgrade them one at a time in sequence. Now that I've upgraded my Expressway C cluster, I'm going to do the Expressway E cluster in the exact same way, starting with the primary and then the secondaries one at a time. You might see some cluster replication alarms for around 10 minutes after the upgrade, and you can just wait for those to go away. The last step for me is to configure my MRA authentication settings on the Expressway C. So I'm going to Configuration, Unified Communications, Configuration. Here you can see that OAuth with Refresh defaults to on. I'm going to turn it off because I know my CUCM has this turned off. This configuration must match what's on the CUCM, and by default the expressways are going to be on, but most versions of CUCM are going to default to off. You can double check this on your CUCM under System, Enterprise Parameters, scroll all the way to the bottom, and check OAuth with Refresh Login Flow. Once I have that set up, my expressway cluster is now upgraded. I hope this video helps, and thank you for watching.